So this video is focusing on limestone. Um, it comes up in all the specifications. And the first thing we need to know is that limestone is formed mainly of a mineral which is called calcium carbonate, which has the formula CaCO3. Okay, so CaCO3 is the mineral that makes up limestone. Now it's not just limestone this makes up, it also um, is the main kind of part of marble and a chalk. Okay, so just to be quite clear that CaCO3 isn't in itself limestone, it's just a mineral that makes it up. Um, how do we get limestone? Well, we actually quarry it, we dig it out of the ground. We have massive pits kind of dug into the countryside um, and we basically tear up as much of it as we can uh, from the ground. Okay, and obviously that is gonna have implications. It has positive aspects and it has negative aspects. So if you get a six mark question on this, it's a really, really nice one to have. Just kind of try and have a picture in your mind of a really nice, pristine countryside that someone's just come and dug a massive hole into. Um, so thinking about it, the negative sides, which I've just uh, mentioned there, uh, the first kind of obvious one that springs to mind is that it's going to um, uh, destroy habitats. Okay, you're blowing up basically a massive part of the countryside where lots of animals are going to live. So we're going to be destroying lots of animal habitats. Um, you're going to reduce tourism. Okay, lots of people like to go on holiday to the countryside, um, like to go and visit these uh, very scenic areas. Um, and if you, you're blowing big holes in it to make a quarry, you're going to reduce tourism. Um, to get the limestone um, out of the quarry, you're going to have to have big kind of articulated lorries. So what that is going to do is it's going to increase traffic on all these little tiny country roads, which is clearly a negative. Okay. Um, in addition, we're going to have lots of dust and sound pollution from the explosions that we used to uh, kind of blow the the, uh, the rock out of the quarry. So dust and sound pollution. Um, and there's loads more you can think about really but if you get three or four ideas in there you're going to be getting five or six marks of your time however on the flip side we have obviously got some positives of why people wouldn't want to do it in the first place so on the plus side um, limestone is a really useful building material okay, it's used to make all kind of things it's used to make glass and cement and concrete um, it's even used uh, as part of the process to make bread okay so calcium carbonate limestone is incredibly useful um, if you have this big quarry in your town, it's going to bring a lot more jobs, okay? So increase number of jobs, okay? It's going to boost local economy, um, economy too, so it boosts the E. This section normally comes up as a six mark question. So as long as you're uh, quite well prepared and have got a few ideas about advantages, disadvantages of quarries, you're going to do quite well on that question. The next section we need to know about is uh, about something called the limestone cycle. And what this is, is a series of chemical reactions, um, starting from calcium carbonate, or limestone, that um, produces a, a, a set of, diff of different products which all have different uses. So what I'm going to do is go through these uh, step by step. Um, we'll talk through, uh, look at the reactions that are happening. So obviously right at the start, we are going to be starting with um, calcium carbonate. I actually think it is easier to, to, to think about the limestone cycle using um, symbols. So as we go through, we will um, do the symbols in orange so we can have a look at what's happening. Okay, so if you have got a lump of limestone, uh, you can turn that to a new product, which is calcium oxide, simply by heating it. So we're gonna apply a lot of heat energy to it and that's gonna break up our calcium oxide um, and it's so it's going to break up our calcium carbonate, producing calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, and this reaction's got a name. So reaction one down here is actually called thermal, which just means heat or heat energy. Thermal decomposition. Yeah, so thermal decomposition, breaking up a compound using just heat energy. Okay, it's definition you need to know. So if we want to represent that as a uh, symbol equation, OK, 
Okay, let's think about what we've got. We start with calcium carbonate. We are just using heat, so no other chemicals that we're reacting with, and we're making calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, and if you struggle, are struggling to remember which gas is given off, just have a look at back at calcium carbonate. Okay, in here you've got a calcium atom, a carbon atom, and three oxygen atoms. Okay, imagine that this carbonate ion here is breaking down um, into carbon dioxide. Okay, and then you can work out what's left over. So calcium oxide um, is a basic compound, which means it neutralizes acids. Okay, so calcium oxide is actually used to um, help farmers to neutralize soil. Okay, and acidic lakes. Okay, so an important compound. Um, if you add water to um, calcium oxide, you make the compound CaOH2, which is uh, called calcium hydroxide. Okay, calcium hydroxide. If you just add a little bit of water to it, you get it as a solid. A calcium hydroxide is again an extremely um, basic, um, basic chemical. It, is, it will neutralize um, acids. So again, it's used to neutralize soil and acidic lakes. Okay, so it's really important that you know some of the uses of that. It's definitely worth remembering that it's Ca brackets OH2. The reason is the calcium um, ion formed here is a charge of two plus. Each of these OH ions is a charge of single minus, so you need two single minus charges to balance out the two plus charge of the calcium. Okay, so uh, just as the uh, the full symbol equation, we're going to have um, calcium oxide plus H2O forming calcium hydroxide. Okay, again, if we look at our atoms, they're all balanced. We've got one calcium, two oxygens, and two hydrogens. That is fine. Okay, the third process here. It's not actually a chemical reaction as such. The third process is simply dissolving. Okay, so it's going to simply dissolve calcium um, hydroxide and we're going to get CaOH2 bracket AQ. The AQ stands for aqueous. It just means dissolved in water. And this guy is called um, lime water, which I'm sure you will have heard of. Okay, so so far we've just heated up calcium carbonate to get calcium oxide, added a bit of water, and added a lot more water to dissolve um, calcium hydroxide solid, and we've got lime water. Um, I'm sure you've heard before about the test for carbon dioxide. The test for carbon dioxide is bubble it through lime water and it will go cloudy. Okay, this is actually what this reaction is represented here. Okay, so reaction four is um, adding carbon dioxide to lime water or calcium hydroxide, and we get calcium carbonate. Um, yeah, the reason why it goes cloudy is because calcium carbonate is insoluble in water, it doesn't dissolve, so it comes out as a white solid, a white precipitate, and it looks a cloudy white colour. Um, so this reaction at the bottom is going to be calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. Okay, for my cycle we're going to be getting calcium carbonate, and if you think about the atoms we've got left over, we've got We've still got one oxygen atom we haven't used. We've got two hydrogens. We're going to get H2O, which is water. Okay. Um, if you want to label uh, this process free, I would just say that is dissolving calcium hydroxide. Right. Um, so uses uh, lime water we use to test for carbon dioxide. Um, if we have the solids, farmers will use it to neutralize soil and um, acidic lakes. Calcium carbonate also has a really important use, other than um, as you know, limestone for building materials, etc. It's actually used to neutralize um, acidic gases in power stations. So what will happen is when you burn something like coal, it will give off a gas which is sulfur dioxide, and that could form um, acid rain when it dissolves in, in, in water. If you have calcium carbonate in the chimney of your power station, that will neutralize, neutralize acidic um, sulfur dioxide. 
which prevents acid rain. Okay, and this is one of the key reasons why um, acid rain is not as much of, a, of an issue as it used to be. Okay, because calcium carbonate is used widely now to neutralize um, neutralize acidic rain. So this is the whole uh, section on limestone that you really need to know. Make sure you do learn the cycle, because the more thoroughly you know it, the easier you will find it to churn out in an exam. So test yourself on that, see how you get on.